Hey guys, it's Mario here, back with another video. And in this video today, we're going to be drawing Aizawa Shouta. Shouta? Shouta. And, uh, yeah, I really like this character from My Hero Academia. He's cool. Too bad he got his face beat in. Hoping those injuries. I have, I'm not caught up on um, My Hero Academia, but hoping those injuries didn't. Uh, fully like come around and mess him up even more because I know they had already messed him up in the series um, from where I was at and it kind of cut down the time he could use his uh, eyes from what I remember hopefully that didn't get any worse Mm -mm. Sorry, I'm kind of focusing on like this facial structure. Needs to be a little bit more bold. But okay, um, one thing I wanted to talk about was uh, my main character for my series I drew yesterday. Um, yesterday I mentioned that his original name was Owen. And, uh, long story short, um, I actually changed his name back to Owen. It was Eden. Um, I wrote this story three years ago. And, basically, yeah. So, I didn't, I didn't have a, as solid writing process as I did, as I do now, three years ago. And, um... I didn't take as much notes, so I didn't know why I named him Owen, so I just decided to change it to Eden, because I um, looked up the meaning of Eden, and kind of went a little bit along with uh, the backstory and how he got that name, but yesterday after the video, I was like, wait, why did I name him Owen in the first place? So I looked it up, and that's when I remembered why I named him Owen, and I was like, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> I need to go back to the day Bowen. So, yeah. That's what happens when you, um, write something three years ago. Don't take notes. This is, this is why you should take notes on very specific, like, little Easter eggs that you want to do in your story. Like, I didn't take notes for those kind of things back then. This is why you should take notes for that stuff. So you remember it if you ever come back to it years later. But yeah, his name's gonna stay Owen. And I changed that a little bit on my Instagram stuff and whatnot. But yeah, I did some more um, planning for the story last night. Still need to finish the first chapter writing. Um, basically I'm kind of, I was, I've been kind of, uh, planning ahead with character designs and stuff without even finishing the first chapter, and, uh, it's not always a good thing, but in this case I already know how I want, basically I know how I want my, uh, first chapter to end, I already have the, like, the bullet points idea of it, but I need to make sure that um, the writing that I have to do for it is essentially just the slightly more detailed version um, of exactly how the climax is going to go. Mm-hmm. 
in which order of events and how to build it up properly. That's pretty much what the writing process is going to be for the first, the rest of the part of the first chapter, which I need to. Need to get on to. Like his hair is longer, I saw his hair is longer in some drawings and then shorter in other drawings. Bit confusing. those of you who are wondering, yes, the manga will be on webtoons. I'm deciding to put it out free to read. And a lot of you, I've already talked a lot about the strategic reason why I'm creating this, and you get, you guys can probably guess why I'm just putting on webtoons for now um, but essentially it's portfolio work as well as creating my own series that I want to put out there and you know just actually taking initiative I want to have something that reflects my current state of work And also the fact that I just want to do this series. Woo! Oh, by the way, guys, we have made it up to over 30 videos on this daily series. And, uh, so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, um, I'll keep up the daily series portion of it. Um, like, I might go by daily or something like that. Um, to be able to keep up videos for the other channel and my manga and all the other stuff I gotta do but uh, we'll see because I know um, there's quite a few of you that like watching this right when they come out every day but I'm sure there's a lot of you that wouldn't mind if you got one every other day so that way it gives you time to watch the other one in between or if for example if i put out five videos a day or five videos a day give me a break <laughs> five videos a week instead of seven i don't know we'll see 
I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you guys think that it should stay daily or not. Because the only reason why I would stop doing it daily is so that way I could try to do a little bit more of my manga production easier. Um, but... Yeah, because I'm sure there's a lot of you that don't mind if it's daily or if I did five five or four a week because that's still way more than I, I normally do on my other channel so you guys should still be getting a lot of content so I noticed daily content also uh, lose a little bit of intrigue because it's almost like the idea of same thing different day Because this isn't necessarily a topic-based channel. Can be. Can be if I wanted it to be. But... But just like I proved that I can keep up on a video every single day, I would definitely keep up on a video. Five days a week for sure. Oh, let me know, let me know, let me know what you think. Some of you might be like, but then I'll miss my daily dose of like, Kuzo sketching. <laughs> well, sir. I am only a slave to the system. Just have a random one coming down here. Maybe down like this. You guys definitely, I've watched some of my videos back before, definitely notice I go, hmm, a lot. <laughs> and that's literally me just thinking about something specific that I'm looking at on the illustration, deciding whether or not that's good and what I should change.
And then crunch time, guys, crunch time. Mm -hmm. But it also seems uh, just really quick. It also seems like you guys liked seeing a lot of my seeing my original content on here as well. So um, also let me know if that's something you would like to see more of. So fan arts are fun and everything, and I would definitely keep doing them. But doing the original content would also be fun. So I got really quiet. This is a lot more going on than my my other illustrations, you know. My other illustrations that I do on here more so. Decided to put in more stuff flying around. But it's coming up towards around that time. So I'd like to thank my Patreons. Guys, the best punch snobies there are. And if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, like to see, please subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when each video comes out. And like always, guys, I hope you're having a great day. Get a little bit more lines in here before we go. See you guys in the next video.